a new glove. So in this case, it'll literally just no heating it. Since 2016, the TJ Nanosat Club has been working on its latest project, Reverb. Reverb stands for Research Vehicle for the Evaluation of Radio Broadcasts. It, since it's like an educational ve vehicle, we are hoping to inspire other teams in the nation. Engineering a satellite and launching it to space is no easy task. It took one year to acquire funding for the project. We're under NASA's CSLI grant, which is the CubeSat Launch Initiative. It is basically a program that encourages like university students or organizations to um, send a satellite to space when there are um, obviously a lot of financial restraint. After three years of hard work, Reverb was ready to launch into space, but then the pandemic hit. The pandemic was definitely a major setback for us. Like previously, most of the team was made of uh, 2021 seniors who were graduating right after the, the pandemic. So in the beginning of the year, we were pretty much like throwing a bunch of hardware and we were trying to figure out, oh, well, like what does this part do? What does that part do? How are we going to put this together? Despite the departure of experienced NanoSat members, underclassmen were able to finish the remaining pieces of the satellite. For us, it was definitely NASA's hard deadline. At the end of the year, it was either you're going to launch it or you're not going to launch it at all. So we were very determined to definitely um, catch that deadline and make it work. And I'm very proud to say that we have done it. With the satellite finished, Reverb was sent to the U.S. Naval Academy for testing and is planning to launch it to space on November 22, 2022. But the satellite saga isn't over yet.